All righty, Jose Rodriguez back again. I hope you enjoyed the previous video I uploaded. So this is going to be a little bit of a follow-up. And we talked about leaky cartridges. That is basically a mechanical problem that you may have caused during your modification process. But if you go ahead and print with that now empty cartridge, even though it is still being uh, declared as having ink in it because it just leaked out and the chip doesn't know that, you will cause head problems, print head problems to be exact. The reason being, you need ink to keep that print head cool as it prints, or at least at the correct operating temperature, whatever that may be. Printing without ink will destroy your print head, period. So, however, however, there are other possibilities that could cause printhead damage. And how do you diagnose this? Well, most people will just begin to complain that their prints have banding. The color all of a sudden just went haywire when it was okay the day before. Now it's printing odd. Why didn't you run a nozzle check? That's the first thing you should do before you print anything. Okay, anything important that is. Also, remember that Canon printers will run a cleaning cycle prior to printing if you have exceeded more than 60 hours. So, this person suffered from a much worse fate as far as his printhead goes. It's really bad. He ran an also check only after the fact. Okay, only after the fact. So, here's what it looks like. Notice all of the banding that is missing. These are huge portions of that whole set of, for instance, photo cyan nozzles, missing, 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 all the way across. But notice something. There's a pattern here. The missing areas, pretty much on the same spot every single time. That rings a bell in my head, okay? Over here, the same thing. And look what's happening here. See, this is blank. We got magenta replacing that blank area. You're supposed to be printing with light gray Pro 100, okay? And this one is just going all haywire. When you see large bands missing, or more traditionally, the band will print, but the upper portion, 50% to be exact, will print a specific density, and then the lower 50%, or vice versa. It really doesn't matter. It's one or the other. It'll either be one full density one and one light density half, or one full density half and one completely blank half. Okay, when that happens, and no amount of cleaning cycles changes that. In this case, no amount of cleaning cycles change the pattern of this nozzle check. That indicates an electronic failure of the printhead, and that is something that you just cannot repair. What can you do? Well, in this case, it's kind of a double-edged sword. Yeah, you could replace the printhead and cross your fingers that nothing will happen, that you install it, you install new cartridges, please do that, not the same ones that you were using during this problem, and you will be fine. You will be back to full 100% printing like you did out of the box. Or the worst, side of the coin would be that that printhead also goes bad because it may not have been the printhead's fault initially but the motherboard causing that electronic failure. It's kind of a crapshoot. You just don't know and there's no way to really check to test whether it's either just the printhead or the motherboard causing that problem to the printhead. What do I recommend? Well, if you're willing to waste fifty sixty dollars not waste but you know let's just say invest then go ahead and find a brand new print head sealed in its own original wrapper on ebay buy it install it and then hope for the best if you succeed then you're good to go and please make sure that if you see any kind of odd printing behavior run an also check immediately don't continue to print thinking that's going to solve it no nozzle check and if you see weird patterns save that nozzle check okay and then do a cleaning cycle followed by a secondary nozzle check and compare the two if you see differences 
other areas are now blocked, then you may have just a common block or air problem, okay, due to maybe a cartridge that's not sealing against the printhead. Remember, Canon cartridges do not seal mechanically, they seal passively, okay, they just basically contact the back port of the printhead. That's it, it's a contact seal. It's not a valve entering through an O-ring, no. So, see a weird problem, nozzle check, cleaning cycle, nozzle check again, look for changes. If you don't see any changes whatsoever, if it's identical, run another cleaning cycle, followed by yet another nozzle check, and pray. If you see a change, that's good. If you do not see a change, that's bad. That just means that it's something pretty much permanent on the printhead. And the only thing you can do is replace it or buy a new Pro 100. If you can get a good rebate for it, you'll be ahead of the game. And then you can maybe, I would say, save the body. But then again, you don't know if it was the so-called motherboard causing that problem. So that body may have to be disposed of. Anyway, that is the raw truth about printing and then deciding to go the refilling route. And this is coming from a refiller guy, okay? So I know what the pitfalls are. I know what the dangers are. I know what the choices you have to kind of accept, the chances you have to take. And you're always printing with your fingers crossed that nothing like this happens. A gentleman told me, you know what? After reading all of this, after watching all of this, I think I will stick with OEM. And I thought, you know, yeah, that makes sense. In a way, you will never have any problems at all, okay? But when you choose to go that route, just make sure you do your research. Just make sure that you know all your options before you make that decision to save a ton of money by refilling, okay? You're going to give up something. It's not a free ride. Thank you so much. Don't forget to subscribe, share, and like. This wasn't very long. I hope I got the point across. Be very well aware of what can happen when you start to refill. It's not that the inks are going to cause problems to with the printhead. The inks nowadays are very good. It's just the process that you need to go through, it can cause problems. You want a printer from Canon that refills like a champ without any kind of modification? Look into the Pro 10. Okay? Look into the Pro 10. All right. Thank you so much. Happy printing, everybody, even after this. Yes. Bye-bye.